Hello, this is Ian Dudley. And I'm Bryce Cook. Welcome to the Kickstarter for Iseribi. Iseribi is a fun, light strategy game that supports two to five players and only takes an hour to play. Iseribi is a great opener where each player takes on the role of a Japanese fisherman in the time of feudal Japan. You go out on the open ocean to harvest fish. Which fish you collect and when to sell them is key to your success. Another important factor is when docked at harbor, wisely spend your hard-earned money choosing various upgrades to outperform your opponents. Whomever makes the most money by the end of the fifth round wins the game. Here's the setup for Isaribi. The main board consists of the sea spaces where you harvest fish, the harbor where you sell your catch and purchase upgrades, the market that represents the randomized demand throughout the game, and the round tracker. The treasury board keeps track of your Rio for purchases, but remember that your money amount is also your victory condition. Each player received a fishing boat card, where the top row signifies the quality of your sales, or also known as action points. Most actions are a full point, while others are only a half point. On the bottom left, you have your net quality. The top numbers signify how many prawns and mackerel you can catch in one action, while the bottom numbers represent how many seabird. The bottom right area is your boat's storage, where you store your catch to bring home to market. Be careful though, you are only able to retain one fish for the next round, and any extra will incur a spoilage penalty. Throughout the game, you'll be using action points for movement, catching fish, upgrading your boat, and selling at the market. Since the market is a deck of shuffled cards, then you're never certain about the market's demand. So, should you catch fish near the harbor to quickly sell back to market? Or should you go out to the deep sea in the hopes of selling a bigger catch? There are also ways to mitigate chance with special abilities. Just like purchasing boat upgrades, you can acquire permanent special abilities in the form of a smokehouse or client. The collaborators are picked up after you've decided to pass during that round. It is a first-come, first-served basis, so picking one up early is a viable strategy. As the round progresses, the market expands, meeting demand becomes more fierce, and at the end of the fifth round, the player with the most money wins the game. We hope you enjoyed our overview, and that you will consider backing Easter Eevee. Again, I'm Bryce Cook. And I'm Ian. Until next time. Happy fishing!